and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Today I'm going to talk about basic Maven terminology because I think it's very important to know the basic terms to find a way around in the Maven world and to look up resources about Maven online. The basic concept of Maven that you might have already heard about is projects. So for example in Eclipse you can create Maven projects and they usually look like this. So you have a folder structure for your sources and resources. You have a Maven dependency library, the core library and a POM XML file. The POM XML file is what actually defines the project. So if you open it you get this nice view and you find the information that uniquely identify the project you're working on. First off this is the group ID, second is the artifact ID, third is the version, and fourth is the packaging type. So the combination of those four should always be unique for your project for it to be identified within the Maven universe. When you build a Maven project, then the results are going to be placed in this target folder and what's actually being created here is called the artifact of the project. In this case, the name of the artifact is composed by the artifact ID, by the version of the project and by the packaging type, usually as the file extension. The group ID is not reflected in the artifact's name because usually in Maven repositories it's reflected by a folder structure, which you cannot see here in the target folder. There's actually a fourth component that's reflected in the file name and this is called the classifier. Um, the classifier you don't need that often so I'm not going to go into details about it but just so you know there's a fourth actually optional component for the file name of a Maven project artifact. Another thing you might want to be aware of is that if you go for Maven multi-module projects which is actually Maven projects with sub-projects then the sub-projects are called Maven modules and the parent projects are called Maven Project Aggregators, just so you've heard the terms. If you declare dependencies in a Maven project, then what you actually declare a dependency to is the artifact of another Maven project out there. That's why um, for a dependency you specify a group ID, an artifact ID, a version, here you see the classifier and the packaging type. I think that's really the most important things you should know about Maven and should be enough to get you started in the Maven world. So let me briefly summarize. We have Maven projects. If Maven projects are um, aggregated, then we have aggregator projects as the parent projects and modules as the sub projects. Each project is identified by a combination of a group ID, an artifact ID, a version and optionally a classifier. When you build a project, then the output is called an artifact. When you define a dependency on another project, then you actually define a dependency on the artifact that is produced by building that very project. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you took something from it. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, uh, drop me a comment, send me a message. Let me know what you think. And I hope to see you next time.